gaan ik kijken kijkers. Ons is blij dat jullie weer een schakel bij Home bij Stevie op jullie programma dynamisch. En vandaag gaan we voort met ons onderhoud met Reinhard. Baie welkom Reinhard. Blij is weer hier. Nee, dank je. Ons wil net die mensen herinneren. Hij is die persoon wat Home bij Stevie hier begint. Eindelijk samen met Mark Woodman, maar zonder Home, zonder Reinhard zou daar geen Home bij geweest zijn. Hij is afgelopen paar jaar in Amerika, waar hij van ons baie programma kreeg, fondsen kreeg, enzovoort. Dus ons is baie dankbaar voor zijn bijdrage daar. Baie welkom weer hier zo. Waardeer, groot waardeer. Reinhard, je weet zoals ik gemeld het bij ons vorige programma, wat ons opgenomen het daar, uh, jou opname hier zo bij 3 IBN het my baie beindruk en ek, ek besef ons moet het speel voor ons kijkers ook. Hmm. Hier heeft mij gestuurd is op per WhatsApp, zoals so enige kijker. Ik kan veel aansturen de opname bij 3 ibn uh, Nou net een keer achtergrond over 3 ibn wat niet al die kijkers misschien weet nie. Die oude kijkers zal uh, 3 ibn saai uit vanuit Amerika en dus ook nog ook dus ook een onafhankelijke christelijke staatsie hmm. wat begin is. Ja. Uh, misschien amper sê per ongeluk, maar het was klaar nie per ongeluk nie, nie, dier Danny Shelton, wat ook een verantwoordelijkheid gevoel het om die evangelie uit te dra. Absoluut. Geen geld, niks nie, maar hy het hierdie, ek wil amper sê visioen gehad, of hy die last gehad, om dit te begin, en hy het die ondersteuning gekryd, en hy kon ook baie goed toe, 3, hy ben eerst in ons land begin uitsaai het. En, uh, Destijds het leraar Arnold nog van mij kom help die groot mm. schortel opzet bij mij. Hij is nu nog daar. Ja, ja. 1.8 meter groot schortel mm. daar. En het was voor ons zo'n so absolute wonnenwerk. Hier krijg ons hier die christelijke kanaal mm. elke dag aan ons huis 4 uur. Dat was mij net absoluut fantastisch. Ja. En man het echt gedink dat jij zo so ooit daar wees voor onderhoud met hulle. Hulle is baie, baie ver. Ja, hulle was een baie goeie, groot inspiratie het om aan te begin. Ja. So, um, ons het baie jare hulle programma gekyk. Um, ons het baie hulle programma gedeel met mense op video, cassette en later op DVD. En het baie impact gemaakt in mensense levens. En so, ek het hulle ontmoet by ISI, kon is een conventie daar in Amerika, waar baie bedieningen bij elkaar komen. en 3 is een van hulle, en hulle het my toe uitgenooi, om sinde te kom, en ook een onderhoud te kom doen, om te vertellen wat ons doen. Hoe ver is dit van die, van die gemeente waar jy nou oh, nee, dit is baie, dit is, dit is, dit is beter ver, <coughs> dit is een paar duizend mijl, <coughs> so iets, um, so ek het gevlieg soen toe, en, Kijk, Danny Sheldon in alle jaren gesê, hulle is daar, nee, het is nie Midelande. Ja. Dit, dit, dit klink, oké. Okay. Maar vraag is toch al kom, is hulle letterlijk tussen die Midelande. Hulle is daar tussen nou weer en niks, daar tussen klomp plaatsen, ver weg van alles, is een sjo. Toe ek al aangereik kom, nee, wat een wonderlijke ondervinding. Dit was voor mij nou net fantastisch. Want alle jaren sien jy die programma, ja. Maar nou kon je eindelijk zien van waar het gebeurt. Ja, ja. En toen ik al ingang, uiteindelijk toen ik al in die atelier kom. Dit was fantastisch. Want hulle het, ek het in die atelier gegaan waar hulle baie van die muziek en een onder het programma maak. En een, je wonder altijd hoe lijkt hier die wonderlijke huiservaring. Ja. Was dit nou niet ongelooflijk om daar in te stappen en dit alles te zien en te beleven? Nie? So, ja, dit, ek, ek, dit is mijn gevoel, ik is op heilige grond. Letterlijk. Absoluut, maar definitief. Letterlijk. Um, dit was voor mij een baie speciale um, ondervinding. So ek het daar die aand laat middag aangekom. Ek het oorgeslaap, hulle het een paar verblijfplekjes daar. Ik het oorgeslaap en ek het baie geworstel gebid. Jy weet, want hulle wil gehad dat ek moet deel oor, oor van waar ek kom en hoe houmbuis begin het en wat is nou, al die hele ding. En het was mij baie moeilijk, want wat sê jy? Wat sê jy nie? Jy het net 45 minuten. En ook... Nee, hoekom 45? Hoekom nie een uur nie? Hoekom snel om so kom? Want hulle het, hulle het aller in muziek wat speelt is in die uur, en advertentieprogramme achterna, so, dan, en dit moet net 55 minuten alles saam, so dit raak baie akkoord. Ja. Vir my nou. En jy het vir my, 
meeste my programma al die jaar dat ek maak, is, ek preek die woord, ek preek Jesus, en seminar, en dit en dat, dit is soos, een paar jaar terug, moes oom om trend my arm draai, om een onderhoudsprogram te doen, oor my en my vrou, en waar, van waar ons kom, want dit is, is nie makkelijk om oor jouself te praat, nie, jy weet, um, maar ek weet, mense wil weet, so ek het so geworstel, oh, aand, jy weet, wat sê, hoe sê dit, wat, wat doen jy, en, ek is hier een gegeven moment wees, en daar is ek nog nie geweet wat ek gaan sê nie, en ek kom van so ver af, so daar ochend vier uur te word, een klokslag helder wakker in my brein, ek staan op, en ek weet net wat ek moet sê, en ek begin het afskryf, en ek skryf die bybelverse af, wat, wat die heren vir my daar gee, en ek, ek gaan lees my bybel, en ek toet ek net volle vrede in my hart, en die heren het vir my net um, bemoediging gegee, en die versekering gegeven, weet jy wat, gaan deel net die story wat die Heere vir jou gedoen het, dis al. Gaan deel het net. net ja, gaan, gaan deel het net. Jy weet, hierdie gaan nie oor jou net, gaan oor die Heere, gaan deel het net. Want het is nie makkelijk om hierdie kant van die tafel te sit. Ek is gewoon die kans, dat ek doen die onderhoud met mense, jy weet, ek vraag die vraag. Ja. Dit is nie moeilik om net te antwoorden wat mense jou vraag en oor jouself te praat nie. So, maar die Heere het geseen en, en ek kom werkelijk vir, waar vir hulle wees wat die Heere gedoen het, mm. en ook die mense wat geraak is, um, so dit is baie opwindend, um, en toe het hulle my die geleendheid gegee, om ook vir fondse te vraag, dit, en dit is het riem onder my hart, want, kyk wat Houmbuis nog altyd nodig het, dit is beraad nodig het, is fondse, en nou meer as ooit, kyk, dit het nog nooit so broekskeer gegaan, soos nou op die oomlik nie, kyk, dit, dit is net een bitter moeilike tyd, En vir enige persoene by die huis, as, as, as jy bijdrag kan maak, um, maak een bijdrag. Jy het miskien, is jy bezig om een huis te verkoop, of een karavaan, of een boot, of enige bijdrag wat jy kan maak, maak een bijdrag. Dit gaan een eeuwige inpak in die werk van die Heere. En hy het vir my hierdie geleentheid gegeen om, om daar, en, en nou moet jy verstaan, meestal van hulle kijkers is Amerikaans. Hulle het baie Amerikaanse kijkers. En natuurlijk het hulle ook Oorseese kijkers. Ehm, um, En soos ek gedeel het in ons vorige program, Dynamies, laas week, is dat die heren die deur opgemaak en die geleende daar gestel, dat ons in die winstgevende maatskapie kon oopmaak in Amerika. Om fondse in te samel vir Hambuis. Nou, ons, ons het daar ook besluit, ons gaan nooit die plek vat van de natuurs in Zuid-Afrika nie. Hambuis moet op sy eie kan functioneer. Maar wat ons van daar wil doen, is om te help met die lichttijd want die lichttijd druk men so dood, dat, omdat het dollars is, dat, jy, jy, jy kom nie nergens nie, so wat, wat hulle ook daar in Amerika besluit het, um, so dat ek eerst sê, die naam wat ons uiteindelijk gegeet is, African Media Mission Outreach, Incorporated, en uiteindelijk was ons succes vir hom te registreer as a 5013C company, wat wil sê, dit is belasting aftrekbaar, en die IRS hou van sulke types, jy weet, hulle hou nie van het enige iemand wat iets doen nie. In elk geval, so, hulle het daar gesê, kyk, ons, ons gaan nie die plek oorneem van Zuid-Afrikaanse of Afrika doen natuurs nie. Mense moet gee vir een saak, so dat hulle trots wees op hulle bediening wat hulle ondersteun. So hulle gaan nooit die plek vervang nie, nooit. En hulle wil ook nie. Maar wat hulle wil doen is om te help, miskien met die project hier en daar, maar vooral met die lichtheid, om seker te maak die, die, die TV gaan aan. <coughs> so hulle betaal nog nie al die lichtheid nie. Um, ek hoop ons kan eendag gekom, want dit is moeilik op vir ons in te saam. Het gaan selfs zwaar in Amerika, wereldwijd, dit gaan zwaar. Maar weet jy wat, mense kan nog steeds, die Heer is een mens is geseend, mense kan nog steeds afknijp. Jy weet, daar is mm. mense wat subscripties het tot sekere dienste, mm. hulle kanseleer die een. Jy het nie rarig nodig nie. Mm. Me, sommige mense eet baie uit. Mm. Jy, maak een, wat het een uit eet, sy geld, mm. en geer het vir hom buis. Mm. Dis die saak van die Heer en die Heere gaan jou sien, mm. en ek sien dit nou gebeur. En, en soms voel ek een bykie het, het gemengde gevoelens, dat ek sien letterlijk hoe Amerikaners nou op offer, daar kom het dan nie na my toe, en hierdie beteken bitter baie. Sy het nie veel in die leven nie. Toe ek nou nie daar wegkom, sy kom na my toe, sy sê, wil vir my iets gee. Ek sê, ja. Sy sê, sy wil iets gee vir die lichtheid van hom buis. 
Ek sê ja, Tanny, want ek weet, sy kan nie die goed bekostig nie. Hy sê nie, sy het geraap en geskraap en sy geef my een check. Hmm. Nou, ek werk nie met die finansies nie, ek, ek sê dit in die kouvert, geet vir ons die sorier, ons dit is sorier waar daarmee werk. Maar sy wil nog graag, dat ek nou dit oordere aan hom wees. Duisend dollar. Nou, dit is een macht om geld vir die tannikie. Nee, sy sê nie, sy sien die werk wat ons doen, en sy wil ook vir die koninkrijk iets doen. Ek was in trane. Ek sê, is dan nie seker? Dan nie, sy sê nie, sy wil dit doen. Nou, dit wees het vir my, as, as mense daar, wat raap en moet skraap, iets kan gee, hoekom kan ons nie iets gee, hierdie kan vir waar my ons geseen word, vir ons mense hier nie. So, dit is my wonderlik, dat daar sikke mense is, en ek is dankbaar vir elke hombuis te noteer wat gee, wat hierdie moendlik maak. Jy weet, jy sal vir hoe baie pensionarisse gee hier so vir hombuis ook. Ja. Uit, hulle kan jy het, a sasa, a ja. pensioenkie, daar is partij, ek weet, ja. mense daar, daar in Albertinia, ja. elke maand, vijftig haar aan, ja. andere mense net. En dit maak een verskil. Ja, elke bijdrage tel op, Absoluut. tel op, tel op. Soos ons is Absoluut. baie dankbaar vir al die Absoluut. pensionarisse wat gereeld ook een bijdrage. Ja. Natuurlijk, die mense wat meer verdien, moet meer gee. Hmm. Maar, maar hulle is jou, amper jou brood en botte, die ja. pensionars, want hulle kyk baie na die programma. Vir al in hierdie tyd, vir al in hierdie tyd, want er kom by december, januari, februari, oog, dan weet hou mys nie, wat gaan, hoe, wat gaan hulle betaal nie, want ja. dit is een verskrikkelijke tyd, waar mense gaan op vakantie, januari is een droe maand, en dan begin mense nog eers optel in februari, hierdie volgende maanden is, gaan broekskeer, so jy het as jy bijdrake maak, maak as een blieve bijdrake, en wat baie keer gebeur is, mense kry uit betalingsvergoed, gee presentatie daarvan vir hom wees, en die heren gaan nie sien, so ja, in elk geval, so, 3 heb jy en gee my toe geleentheid, om vir fondse te vraag, en um, ek kan het toe doen, een regaard die by Homebuys die videokie gemaakt, wat ons vir hulle kon speel oor Homebuys, en dan ook oor een mooi, die African Media Mission Outreach in Corporate daar in Amerika, waar dier die fondse dan ontvang word. So wat hulle dan doen, as die fondse ontvang word van Amerikaanse donateer, hulle stuur het nie Homebuys toe nie, hulle stuur het direct in die lichttijd toe, dan weet hulle, oké, okay, dat dit is gegeef vir lichtheid, dan weet hulle, as mense oor ons oor, wat bereik word dier hy sein. Prachtig. Ek gaan sommer nou speel, en hierdie program van 3IBN, wat jy daar opgeneem het, is, uh, is so op WhatsApp, mm-hmm. en ek gaan het nou daar begin speel, daar kyk nou hier so, kom ons kyk saam daarna. Welcome to 3IBN Today. My name is John Dinsey. It's a blessing for me to be here with you and with my wife, Idalia. Mm-hmm. It is a blessing that you are with us, and we thank you so much for your prayers and financial support of 3 of We thank you for contacting us to let us know that the programs are a blessing to you. Amen. And we have a wonderful program for you today. Yes, I look forward to sharing this next hour with each and every one of you. I think this program is going to be of encouragement to you. Uh, God is faithful and God is wanting to use you to bring hope, to bring uh, happiness to someone else. And that is by taking Jesus to them, presenting Jesus to others. So we will be blessed and God's word is not returning to him void. So we trust that what will be shared with you as far as the testimonies that we're going to hear, miracle stories, you know, you hear these miracle stories and you say, hmm, I wonder if God is willing to do that in my life. Well, you know what? That and more. So be encouraged. Amen. Amen. Well, we are happy to present to you Pastor Reinhard Mm -hmm. Standard. Welcome to 3ABN. Thank you, Pastor John. Thank you, Dahlia. Mm-hmm. Excited to be here. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for coming. And you have come to us, not from across the street, but <laughs> tell us where you have come from. Um, originally, I, I'm born in South Africa, raised there and started ministry there. I'm now in the States. Um, I'm a pastor of Williamsport SDA Church in Maryland, in the right. Chesapeake Conference. I'm very blessed there. They're a wonderful conference, evangelism driven. Amen. And so, uh, led by Pastor Jerry Lutz, a good president. Amen. And so, I'm very privileged to be there. Mm-hmm. But it's an honor to be here today to, and sharing what God has been doing in mm-hmm. Africa with outreach and satellite TV. 
Excellent. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to hear some wonderful things and we hope that uh, you will share with others this program. You will want to share this program with others when you hear it because there are wonderful things that God has done and continues to do. Take us through how the Lord led in your life and how you knew the Lord had a calling upon you even from childhood. Yeah, what a story. I wish we had more time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I praise God for just the parents He gave me and the grandparents Amen. on both sides. Amen. From early on, they led me to love the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I really loved the Bible. You know, the moment I got, started being able to read and write, I made my own little Bible. Every book in the Bible, wrote, writing down all the verses that I could mm -hmm. and carrying it with me. And so it was always my dream to work for Jesus. Amen. And um, as I share this story and the story our God led to a TV channel, I want to share Psalms 25 and every time share a verse out of Psalms 25. Mm -hmm. Psalms 25 has an amazing meaning to me. Um, Psalms 25, and I, I will start with verse 1. It says, Unto thee, O Lord, mm -hmm. do I lift up my soul. You know, and from childhood, early childhood, you know, it was just my desire to live for Jesus. And I grew up on a farm, enjoyed it. But so many times as I grew up on this farm, um, there was a lot of dangers. Snakes. I can't even tell all the snake stories I have. <laughs> I, I don't like snakes at all. And it was a beautiful farm, as you can see there on the screen. But it was, there was a lot of trees, a lot of snakes. Mm -hmm. And then a few times I almost drowned. And oh, then wow. falling you know, with horses almost falling off from the horse and things like that. But this one day, my dad told me, um, he's going to go to the neighbor. Do I want to come with? It was almost evening time. It was starting to get dusky and, and dark. And my mother said to me, take your cap with. And I thought to myself, I don't need a cap. Why will I do that? And I heard this voice, listen to your mom. <laughs> and I took my cap with and I jumped in the truck. We went to the neighbor. And my dad climbed out with the neighbors, started chatting. They walked ahead. I came behind and I had my cap on. And the next moment, they had this huge dog. He stormed me and he went for my head. And he just grabbed my head and plucked it around. Oh. And I ran. And the next moment, the cap was left in his jaw oh. and I went free. Oh, wow. And that night, as we went home, it dawned on me, if I was not obedient to my mom, Yes. Yes. And listen to that small voice, yes. do what your mom says, mm -hmm. I would have been dead. That's mm. right. And um, just seeing all these miracles, you know, since childhood, it's like I, we were on vacation with family and I drowned in a river. And um, the tide took me into the sea. It was a river on a sea. Mm. And my cousin jumped in and he got me out by God's grace. And I will never forget those moments. You know you're going to die. You know it's right. gone. Yes. And just coming back to life knowing, wow, there's, there's something more mm -hmm. than just this life. That's Amen. Right. God has a purpose. Amen. And when I look back at how God led my wife, she's a miracle. She was born, her mother went into labor four and a half months pregnant. Oh. And my oh. wife was born oh. dead. Oh. And there you would see the little baby, my wife. She weighed not even a pound. Not even a pound. And the doctor said to there's nothing we can do. And they wanted to throw her away. And the next moment, a little hand went up. <gasps> and, and everyone was in shock. And so the doctor said, listen here, she should show us that she can survive. Mm -hmm. We're going to put her here in the incubator for 24 hours mm -hmm. right. without milk. She should show us. If she lives, then we will help her. Wow. And that's... she fought for her life for that 24 hours and for the rest of all the months in hospital. Yes. yes. And just looking at that, God had a plan. Yes. Amen. And that to me is just amazing. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Praise Lord the Lord. has his hedge of protection over you <laughs> and because he has special plans for your life, a special anointing. And it blesses my heart to hear how uh, near death experiences that we face also helps us remember that today is the day of salvation and that God has special plans for you mm -hmm. and they're wonderful plans. Well, tell us how the Lord prepared you for a television ministry. How did that come about? 
so I always like detail. I'm a bit systematic, you know, I studied systematic theology, but without going too much details, mm -hmm. I want to share verse 4 of Psalms 25. It says, Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Mm -hmm. And so as I grew up on the farm, I, I got an interest in radios, and I experimented with radius. I made my own huge mast and antenna wow. on the mountain. I picked signals up from the US, you know, different radio channels and stuff. That's tremendous. And a few years after that, my dad has a friend, he's an importer and he was in the, you know, um, satellite industry. Um, we, we got word 3ABN, 3ABN is going to come to Africa on satellite. Mm -hmm. And so we were one of the first families getting this huge satellite <laughs> dish. So, <Yeah. laughs> so my dad brought this dish from the north and we put it up, but there's no signal. Uh -oh. And so we had to go and study. How on earth do we <laughs> get the signal? Mm -hmm. And so we read eventually the degrees. We had to measure the sun and it, was, it took us days. But when we got the signal, the signal was amazing. Mm. It was just perfect. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And that changed my life and the directory of my life because wow. I was inspired. Do you remember more or less what year that was? That was around 2000, 2001, 2002 in that area. Mm -hmm. It was just the first year through ABN, you know, went globally, especially yes. in Africa yes. on right. sea band. Oh, I yes. remember Huge that. Huge dishes. <laughs> I remember And that. that really changed my life. Amen. Um, there was a sermon, or a lot of sermons, but that, this one sermon always stuck with me. It was by Dwight Nelson. It was called Raw Faith on 3ABN. Mm -hmm. It was a Sabbath afternoon, and he told the story of Danny Shelton and how 3ABN started. And I thought to myself, wow, if he could have done that, mm -hmm. maybe God is calling me for more. And so that stuck in my mind. And the, for the next few years, God just prepared me. Eventually, I went into a lot of into Bible work, um, a Bible worker called portering work, um, installing dishes for people in the satellite industry. There's a lot of detail I can't go into. And at the same time, my, my, my wife was being prepared by God in the health field. Mm -hmm. You know, she, uh, she was hired then as a manager of the first Adventist um, bland based restaurant. Oh. And then she did cooking schools and got a lot of people coming to see how to make healthy food. And so as I was uh, learning how to work with people, uh, my wife was learning to work with health and reaching people where it matters. Mm -hmm. And looking back now, God was setting up the stage for us to reach people. Mm -hmm. yes. um, we didn't know it at that moment. We knew God had a plan, not right. exactly what the plan was. Mm -hmm. And that was just amazing, you know, just mm -hmm. seeing how God was leading. Amen. 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 Well, you had a passion for mission, yes. for the gospel. Yes. You loved Jesus because you, as you mentioned before, you had a good upbringing by your parents. Mm -hmm. The Lord blessed you with that. But not everyone responds uh, positively to God's call. So here you are climbing and you're stepping on top of people's homes mm -hmm. on roofs. Mm -hmm. To and put up satellite dishes. <laughs> exactly. These satellite dishes, many, uh, many people have missed out in that experience because nowadays... Uh, we have a picture of some uh, installation of satellite dishes. Okay. Yes, I, if you, as you see that picture, man, I was, I was so inspired just getting the truth to everyone. I can't even tell you. In that same time period, I was standing on street corners, handing out pamphlets, get the truth in your, in your home with 3ABN yeah. and get, I will put up a dish and this is the price. And at the same time, I will sell them books, mm -hmm. you know, and then do Bible studies. Yes. And I, I, I was on fire just getting the truth there. Mm -hmm. But always at the back of my mind knowing, man, we need something locally for yes. the African mind. Yes, yes, yes. yes. that's yes. right. Wow. That's right. Well, you go into full-time gospel ministry and media ministry. So uh, tell us about that experience. So let me start with where I met my wife and then I will start that journey. Okay. Um, I always knew God had someone special for me. I know since I was me too. Little. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I always me prayed too. for my wife to be somewhere wherever she is, and I was looking forward to that day. Um, that's something for another day. It's a whole long story. <laughs> but in any case, here I met her, not knowing it's my wife. I saw this girl at camp meeting, yes. and she was busy with a cooking demonstration before mm -hmm. a huge audience, and everyone was laughing. And I thought to myself, Wow. 
And that same week, there was a health outreach and they invited me, you know, to be part of the health outreach. And so it was so exciting um, interacting, with the, interacting with the public and eventually as I got to know her more and in a year and a half's time we got engaged. Mm -hmm. But I saw years before an interview about Greg and Jill Morricone on oh, JBN okay. about how to keep your relationship <laughs> pure, how to do yes. it according to God's will. Amen. Amen. And I told her from the beginning when we decided God is leading us in this direction, mm -hmm. this is how we're going to do it. Mm. We're going to court, uh, we're going to keep it pure, and our first kiss will be on our wedding day. Marvelous. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what we did. We got married, and man, God blessed me with a wonderful wife. And without her, I don't know that I would have been ah, able to do what I'm doing today. Beautiful picture. Look at that. They're smiling in the picture, and he's smiling over here on the set. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I love my wife. And so we started a media ministry together. Mm -hmm. At that stage, videos and then DVDs. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I went to study theology. And as this grew, you know, God just led. And I want to share with you this verse in Psalms 25, verse 5. It says, Lead me in thy truth, teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. And so, as I was studying and as we were busy, you know, giving our DVDs and videos, I, I was praying, God, just lead me. We should do more to reach people. They, yeah. they, it's so difficult to get into people's homes. I was a mm -hmm. cool porter. It's difficult, man. Yes. And I did a lot of, you know, <laughs> knocking, uh, knocking and all of these things. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Right. And then I met, I was also at the same time doing Bible studies while studying theology, following up a lot of people after a campaign. And I got to this door and the year was Aubrey and Tessa. He was a wedding photographer mm -hmm. and also videographer. Okay. Oh. And I was like, oh, wow, he can teach me how to edit and how to record. And he did that. Excellent. Right. And so then he, he, he recorded a campaign of ours. I didn't like the sound of it. And so I asked my friend, my friend Patrick, he's also a stander. He's black and I'm white. And so we were the stander brothers <laughs> going from town to town doing evangelism. And so Aubrey came and he recorded it. And I said to Patrick, man, we need better quality, especially the sound. Right. Poor Patrick. I went through five times re-recording the oh. same campaign wow. over and over, doing it in a, in a, in in a, a church, church without setting. an audience. Okay. My poor wife recording the whole series. <laughs> and it's like, no, we can't use this. Not good enough. <laughs> trial error, trial error. Yes. And eventually I got a product that worked. Amen. We put it on DVD and it spread like wildfire. Mm. And I said to my wife, man, one day this will be on TV. Yeah. And she always thought I'm a bit crazy, but you know, <laughs> we're doing the Lord's work. It's working. I, I think that happens in almost every home. One of them thinks, oh, you must be crazy. <laughs> but you know, it seems like the Lord was preparing you, taking you yes. step by step mm -hmm. to even uh, put a burden in your heart that, you know, you're, you're receiving three ABN, but you wanted to do something locally. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the, you know, you said you wanted a good quality uh, series. Yes. Uh, tell us about the first program that was put on, on, on satellite. How was that Man, experience? Such a long story, but praise the Lord mm -hmm. for his leading. I, now, my wife worked at Body Care for a businessman, Lance Abrams, years before in the health industry and with a um, plant based restaurant. And so she had good relationships with them. And so when I came to this injunction, I knew God wanted us to record. I contacted him and he donated camera equipment. Oh. Mm. So we recorded our first series and I was like, man, we need this on TV. Yes. And so then God opened a door. I made contact with a Christian TV channel in South Africa that sold airtime. And I said to them, look at the product we have. And mm. so what I did was my wife had a cooking show and then I had a talk, a Bible health talk mm -hmm. combining both. And I sent it to them. It was a half an hour, 25 minute, half an hour program. They loved it so. They said, we will give you a free slot every week. Wow. Praise the and Lord. And I was blown away. <laughs> now Amen. it's like producing for every week. <laughs> and we did that for months. And so Patrick and I's program and other programs, we went around just recording programs. 
And we got such a lot of requests from all over the country for mm -hmm. more programming and mm -hmm. for DVDs. Mm -hmm. And I was just on fire. Mm -hmm. This led me to look at more options. I got to another Christian channel, Craze Cake TV, because this one didn't last. You know, it went bankrupt. And it was a lot of money to go on air. Just for one slot it was a lot of money. Yes. I tried fundraising without any success. Went to my uncle, he had some money, and he said, but it's not going to last. You need something more consistent. Mm -hmm. Go to this guy, his name, name is Dr. Bernard Fieker. He knows how to do fundraising. So I went to him, explained to him my vision, and I want to start with an hour, eventually someday, hopefully 24 hours a day. And he said, let's start with 30 minutes. Um, let me talk with a few guys. And so he did fundraising, and we went on air, and that continued for years and many many people that were reached on that cr other christian channel so this wow. channel had a coverage of about how much um south africa and a few neighboring countries okay. but mainly south africa excellent mm. yes. very good wonderful yeah. so you were seeing results take place oh man and thousands of people asking for dvds you know and, and more information and mm -hmm. so i was just excited man this is <laughs> this is amazing this is the way to go mm -hmm. amen amen but in ministry you know very well that you know we have challenges you yes. know there are battles you know with a vision and when do you surrender to god plan so please share that those details because that helps us grow I want to share this verse in verse 10 mm -hmm. of Psalms 25 it says all the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth mm -hmm. unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies and when I see that keep his covenant that to me is like surrendering to his will Mm. You know, it's a f it calls for a full surrender. Yes. And, and during this time, you know, I was, I was married. I was studying theology full time. At the same time, I had a lot of Bible studies following up a campaign. At the same time, we now this media ministry programming on air every week, making DVDs. Right. I was an elder at the local church. Mm -hmm. And then I was wrestling with Hebrew and Greek. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, my life is so full, but I knew God had more. He's asking for more. The vision became overwhelming to me. It's mm -hmm. like, God, I cannot do this. I, I cannot. It's too much. I told God, look at my plate. It's full. I cannot do this. Right. It already has such a lot of faith just to do this fundraising for one hour a week on TV. Right. I cannot. Mm. But the Holy Spirit kept on nudging, kept on talking and pleading. Mm. And so at the end of 2008, my friend Patrick and I and another friend, Hilton, we went to an unentered area, Klaarström. There was never, ever anything done there before. Mm. And so we, we set up camp for two weeks there. And every day throughout the day, we did health work, health ministry. And then in the evenings, we did this campaign. As you can see there, we are preaching okay. in the evenings, Patrick yes. and I, the Three Angels messages. And this was at the end of 2008. Is this the Standard Brothers? Yes, yeah. this is the Standard <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> and so the evening when we presented the Sabbath, I've never, had, I've never seen an, an experience. I have goosebumps now just thinking of that. Mm. A, a thing like that in my life. We made a call at the end of the sermon. Yes. And the whole audience came to the front wanting to keep the Sabbath. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. And so wow. everyone knelt down. We prayed together. And people were crying, asking for forgiveness for breaking the Sabbath all these years unknowingly. Oh. Wow. And I, I was amazed. Amen. And That's I thought to myself after that, I went out that evening, looked at the stars. It was in the countryside, thousands of stars. And I was just looking up and said, God, Mm -hmm. I'm hearing a voice. I will go. I will Amen. do it. I surrender. Mm -hmm. If you can do this, mm -hmm. you can do anything. If you can change hearts, yes. you can do anything. Mm -hmm. This is not about me. Mm. You do it. Yeah. And that, that brought a change. Now, the very yes. next day, we were standing there busy with health ministry. I got a call from a guy I've never known before, never heard of. His name is Mark Woodman. He was a local evangelist. And he said, I need to talk with you. I said, man, I'm busy with ministry. When you're done, I need to talk with you. So from there, we, we were done. I went to meet him. 
And he shared with me his vision to reach people. And I shared with him my vision. And he said, let's join ministries, mm. which we did. And it was just amazing. Like, we need to do this now. Mm -hmm. We need to do this now. Because at the same time it was on my heart, it was on his heart. I was like, God is really leading. Yes. Mm. You know, it's interesting. I hear you as you're telling your story and you came to the point of the surrender part. Uh, you don't have to mention names, but just maybe uh, saying a yay or a nay. Did you hear from people saying something like, you know, this is too much trouble. This, you're too busy. Did anybody do that? Did anybody? Everyone this around me said it will never work. Even after the surrender part, especially yeah. that next two years, everyone around me said, you are crazy. Mm -hmm. I literally went to Adventist institutions and they all told me, you are crazy. <laughs> it cannot work. And it, my, my surrender was really tested. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. On different levels. So definitely the Lord took you to a place to understand that even though it seems evidence is against you and the people are saying this can't be done, the Lord helped you to understand that, yes, if I surrender to Him, the Lord will take care of those things I cannot handle. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. Well, it's beautiful to see how when you're sharing God's Word and people can follow you, you had your, uh, no, you, you speak that language. Yeah. What do they speak? Afrikaans. Afrikaans. Yes. Okay, so you were able to um, present the message and they wanted to embrace it mm -hmm. and they fell in love with with Jesus yes. all over again and that commitment and now that commitment of under part ignited even your commitment even more so let's take this to another level Absolutely. so we're going to have to have this 24 hour channel yes. we need to do something bigger yes. something that I cannot comprehend, but the Lord knows how He's going to do it. So your story also reminds me <laughs> about the miracle story here. Yes, amen. Uh, can you share in that language some short phrase like, God loves you, He gave His life for you, and Jesus Christ is coming soon. How would you say that? Uh, Jesus is lief for you. He is for you to start from the cross, and He will let you have to do a day to make for Him. Amen. Wow, praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Beautiful. Amen. Well, how did you join with this ministry? Mm -hmm. you, you understood the Lord was leading both of you to unite mm -hmm. efforts together. How did it come about to really go on satellite? This, I, I want to share with this verse and then answer your question. In verse 12, yeah. it says, what man... Psalm 25. Yeah, Psalm 25. I'm still there. Psalm 25, 12. What man is he that feareth the Lord, him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. And that feareth is, is that loyalty to God. It's, mm -hmm. it's staying with the Lord even during hardships and hard yes. times, yes. trusting him no matter what. Mm -hmm. And so as I'm reading this, man, after that surrender, we came back, said we're going to join ministries. That was now at the beginning of 2009. My son was born April that year, Joshua. Um, and so what happened was I went throughout the country doing fundraising. Uh, at the same time, I'm studying theology. And so it was, uh, you know, it was not an easy time. And at the same time, I had to open a new studio, wow. you know, for all the programming. And now I needed real studio cameras. That's right. Mm -hmm. I, I went back to the businessman, Lance Abrams, and I told him, man, God is using us but we're going to enlarge this to 24-7, our own channel, mm -hmm. our own Adventist channel. We, but we need equipment. Yes. And he made a donation. We bought all the camera equipment. Mm -hmm. Just by the way, just I think in 2020, those equipment were done. They couldn't more. Thousands oh, of hours, wow. they couldn't anymore. <laughs> so we had to buy new ones. But that, it was just amazing. That investment was a vast investment in the kingdom. Amen. So many souls being reached just by That's that right. equipment. And okay, so we, we start with the studio. I went all over the country try, trying to do fundraising. It was tough. It was mm -hmm. tough. Most people thought I went from conference to conference, church to church, camp meeting to camp meeting. Most thought I was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, some said, oh, that's a good idea. Here and there were some people that said, oh, wow, mm -hmm. how can I be part of this? Yeah, amen. Right. And it um, was a tough time. But to cut the long story short, by God's amazing grace, Amen. November the 1st that year, 2009, we went on air. Mm 
November yeah. 1st, 2009. Yeah. Yes, and, and all over Africa. Amen. And we got such a lot of feedback from all over. Yeah. Amen. The phone calls, text messages, emails, and we knew, oh, oh wow, people are watching. Amen. And we were just astounded. Mm. And so I was still studying. I was working on seven computers at night, just editing. My friend were in the studio, my wife just making programs during the day. I was editing like crazy. Wow. Um, while studying, it was a crazy time. It was a crazy um, time indeed. But God really blessed. I will never forget. It's such a, such a difficult thing to get the programming to the satellite. So I had to courier the programs to the north of the country and from there to have it to another country and then beam it up and then to distribute it on satellite. Wow. It was just crazy, but mm -hmm. God blessed. <laughs> mm -hmm. But at this time, my friend got cancer, Mark. Hmm. At the same time I was busy with the campaign, we lost our second baby. Mm. Oh. Um, it was a tough time. And then a month after that, my, my friend Patrick lost his daughter. She was 13, oh, wow. she drowned. Terrible, oh. terrible. And then Mark died of the cancer. It, wow. Everything was just so sudden, so, so overwhelming. Mm. The ministry came to collapse. Mm. Everything just came to a standstill. Um, a tough time. It was a tough time. And yes. also this time then I was called as a full-time pastor um, to a huge district of nine churches. And I again felt overwhelmed. Mm. I felt overwhelmed all of this on my hands, all the trauma we've been going through, but I still know there's a vision. I know it. I know people should be reached. Yes. yes. And, and so I was almost at the same come around circle again. Mm. Will I surrender or not? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is uh, a, an impacting story. I mean, you went through a lot uh, of short experiences that you tragic lives were lost and uh, the impact, I mean, there's not enough time to describe the sorrow, the pain, the confusion uh, that you faced, but still there lingered this in your heart. Yes. Um, and you continue forward. Tell us, tell us how the Lord took you to the next step. By God's grace, we relaunched in 2012. God was just on me. I couldn't let go of the Holy Spirit just pleading with me. So yeah. off the air from 2011, then 2012, mm -hmm. by God's grace, we relaunched. And this, this verse, man, this verse is so special to me. Psalm 25, verse 14. It says, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, mm. and he will show them his covenant. Mm. Now that, that God will show them his covenant. It's like showing the, the, the depth of his being, his character, his heart. And I'm asking myself, what is the heart of God? It's love, love to us. The heartbeat of God is for souls, to win souls for his kingdom. That is what God's heart is. That's right. And so God showed me, man, we need to reach the world for Christ. So we relaunched and since 2012 until now, by God's grace, there's such a lot of miracles there. We've been broadcasting 24 seven as home based TV uh, all Amen. over Africa. Amen. And Praise so many changed lives. Amen. Amen. I can't even tell you. It's just amazing. And God has been showing me time and time. His heart is souls. He mm. wants to save lost people. That's right. That is what he's in the business of, to mm -hmm. saving souls. Amen. Amen. I must actually share with you a few testimonies. Yes. Please. Mm -hmm. We got a phone call. It was a lady. She, she just discovered home base TV and she said, man, this is just strange what I'm hearing, but I can see God's love. So it is called Home, home Base, base TV. TV. Yes. And she said, but I need more information and I need scripture for this. And she was just asking all these questions. She was a Jehovah's Witness. And eventually she started accepting the Sabbath, accepting the state of the dead, mm -hmm. Jesus ministering the, in the most holy at this stage. Mm -hmm. And the one day I got this call. She said, guess what? I said, no, we're on our way to church. It's a Sabbath morning. Mm -hmm. My husband and I are getting baptized. I was oh, shocked. <laughs> praise the Lord. He was a Baptist minister. Wow. She was a Jehovah's Witness. They've wow. been fighting their whole lives. Oh, <laughs> and now they're both going to get baptized 
And, the, and she said to me, it's the first time in our lives we have peace at home. Praise oh, the Lord. Wow. Look at that. God used you to bring peace and our lives are changed. Amen. Wow. Amen. Uh, it's just amazing. What a tremendous mm-hmm. story. It's yeah. like I, at this stage, I was now in another district having seven churches. We just built a new church, huge church, seating 400, 500 people. And in come a lady, I want to be baptized. We had a baptismal service that day. <laughs> I want to be baptized. I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Long story short, she watched our home-based DVDs. She watched the channel. She was in the new age. Mm. And she accepted Jesus Christ. She yeah. saw that He's the only way. There's not, no other way. That's right. I'm not God myself. Only Jesus Amen. is the only way. Yes. We quizzed her. We had a quick church board meeting. <laughs> she knew everything Amen. because of watching all the programming. Amen. 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 We baptized her that day. Mm. And the amazing, most amazing part of the story is as she was sitting in the pew that day, she sat beside this guy and they were getting, they got married off to a few <laughs> months and years. She met her husband in the church after being baptized. <laughs> Amen. Anya Olifir. And so that's just amazing. Amen. 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 But there she is. What a beautiful, and her beautiful name again? person. Mm-hmm. Anya Anya. Olifir. Amen. Um, that's a long testimony. I've just shortened you it. You surely have. <laughs> and then another one that's just amazing to me, Shannon Kivit. We were at camp meeting. Always wherever I go, I hand out pamphlets, DVDs, and there's Shannon. Now, I gave this DVD to someone at a, at a place there after camp meeting, knowing, you know, he needs the truth. I pleaded with him, please watch the DVD. Please promise me you will watch it. Mm-hmm. I'll promise. This guy didn't want to watch it. He wanted to throw it away, but he made a promise. Mm. So he went to Shannon, said, I made a promise, but I'm not going to watch it. Well, you want to watch it. And so Shannon put it in and he watched it. And he started watching the channel, Home Based TV. Excellent. Him and his whole family got baptized. Praise his extended God. family, and now he has Muslim family. Praise they are studying the truth now. Amen. Amen. And it's like, it's just this domino effect mm-hmm. of changed lives mm-hmm. when people see the truth and Jesus Christ for themselves. Amen. Amen. And that to me is just marvelous. Awesome. Amen. It's, there's so many stories I can tell. It's like the one day we got a phone from this lady. I, I want Don Miller's DVD. Mm-hmm. I was like, but she's Afrikaans. Don Miller is English He's from G <laughs> Pines. I was like, right. no, it's only in English. She couldn't understand English. No, I saw it in Afrikaans. Oh, wow. We said, no, it's English. We had this back and forth. <laughs> no, I, can, I, I don't understand English. She heard him in Afrikaans. Wow, wow. it's a miracle. And we the couldn't Lord. give her the DVDs. But, you know, and just seeing all these stories of changed lives, mm-hmm. now I understand, oh, wow, God wanted to do something more. Something yes. more. Mm-hmm. Reaching souls where they are. Mm-hmm. Wow, tremendous. You know, uh, we are very aware that it's very difficult to feed a channel 24 hours a day. Uh, you, this is a 24-hour yes. channel. Yes. Uh, you don't produce all the programs that are on the air. I understand that some, some of 3ABN programming is yes. on there. Yeah, we are partners with 3ABN. Thank you so much. We love 3ABN so much. 40% of our programming are 3ABN programming, and then 10% other ministries, and then 50% are locally produced, oh. um, and many of them in Afrikaans. And so it's... It's a lot of work, as you, yes. can, as yes. you all know, yes. but God has been blessing. And it's amazing to see the results in people's lives. Definitely. Amen. Praise um, the Lord. I understand you have a picture of your studio. Yes. Um, this studio, God led this amazing miracle that we could build our own studio facility and offices um, from 2015 to 2019. It took us quite a while to build it. Mm-hmm. And... We've been able to do more programming, you know, and to receive people. We even have a room there for guests. We are close to an airport so they can fly out, come and stay there. Mm -hmm. And God has been really good and amazing. If you told me this years ago, I'd have thought, man, that's impossible. (laughs) God does the impossible. Uh, even when we don't think it's possible, even when we're hearing other people saying, oh, no, this is crazy. This, mm-hmm. this can't be done. Right. But uh, you know a God that can get Amen. it done. Mm-hmm. Amen. So that's why 
He led you through these different steps. Uh, marvelous. Praise the Lord. Well, um, there is a video. You see, is it a good time to show the video? You can show the video and then I will explain. Okay, very good. Okay. Let's go to this uh, video that we hope you will pay close attention. <laughs> Home Base TV is a 24-7 satellite television ministry that changes lives across Africa. Throughout the past years, the Three Angels' messages have been broadcasted that resulted in hundreds of baptisms and thousands keeping the Sabbath. One such a precious soul is Shannon Kibit. Not only his whole family were baptized, but also his extended family and friends. Good day, I am Shannon Kibit. Home Base TV has me and my family's whole lives changed. With a new, new outlook on life. As I so pass the winner, and a great, great mercy competition. Bye, thank you, Homebase TV. Featuring scripture-based programming, Homebase TV brings God's truth directly to people's hearts in the privacy of their own homes. Become part of Jesus' great commission, as instructed by Christ in Matthew 28:19. Without you, broadcasting will not be possible. We need your help. Any contribution will greatly assist in sustaining Home Base TV's outreach in broadcasting the gospel in and around Africa. Your contributions are tax deductible through our partner Africa Media Mission Outreach, who is a 501c3 charitable organization. You can give online at www.amoy.org or you can mail a check to Africa Media Mission Outreach, PO Box 324, Williamsport, Maryland, 21795. Very good, thank you. And those that uh, could see, saw, but those that could hear, heard. <laughs> mm. uh, we are also on radio, so we thank our radio listeners. Uh, can, that can also be a part of helping this ministry. Explain to us uh, what we saw there. So, uh, as we all know, since COVID came and things changed globally, and South Africa's economy has gone down. Mm -hmm. So we are broadcasting from South Africa, Cape Town, to the whole Africa. Um, but especially since 2020, it's been going very difficult economically. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to raise funds now in the U.S. And so we established a U.S. nonprofit, a yes. 501c3 organization called Africa Media Mission Outreach, AMOI. And we are trying to raise funds for Home Base TV and the outreach we do there in Africa. And we, we just want to ask people, you know, if God lays it on their heart to please mm -hmm. help and support. This is a huge work we are doing. That's right. And without people's help and contributions, we cannot do it. And so it's when we partner together that we make an internal difference in people's lives. Mm -hmm. And especially the people in Africa need it still by satellite. Internet is very expensive. Yes. We are trying internet, but it's expensive. Right. Most of the people we're still reaching are just through satellite because mm -hmm. it's free doesn't okay. cost them anything. Right. The satellite dish is there. Everyone has a TV almost. And those who don't, go and watch at friends and family That's and yes. community mm -hmm. places. Mm -hmm. But it's free. No, mm -hmm. nope, nothing to pay. Mm -hmm. While internet is still expensive. And so this is the most cheapest way to reach the masses in Africa. Mm -hmm. And it's wonderful to be partnering with you too, you know, to make this able. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, you took us through a journey. You had to cut a lot. <laughs> had to cut a lot. I know there are many stories that you yes. could uh, share with us, but it's really a miracle that is on the air. You know, you talked uh, about the time when you went off the air. Mm. To come back on the air after being off the air for that period of time, it's another miracle of the Lord. Mm. Uh, circumstances, yes. situations, uh, difficulties that arose uh, that really anyone say, well, it's over, you know, but the Lord kept the, kept the flame alive mm -hmm. and has used you and your wife. Uh, we encourage everyone to pray, pray for uh, Pastor Reinhardt and his wife. Your wife's name again? Irinda. Irinda. I Irinda. Oh. Yes. And I also want to thank my brother. He's now director of Homebase TV and Mark that passed away, his wife, Rieta, and then also Meinhardt. He's a friend of mine. 
They are having the leadership still there in Africa, um, and they are doing an amazing work. Mm -hmm. You know, and so without them, with the re reliable people you can mm -hmm. trust, mm -hmm. you know, a ministry like this will be impossible. That's right. And I, I just thank God for my wife, standing through thick and thin, through a lot of trauma yes. mm. in our lives, and still looking forward, wanting to do God's work. Amen. It's amazing. And all those who have contributed through the years, and even now, Ma and in the in eternity we will see thousands reach for Jesus. That's right. Amen. That's Amen. Right. Well, it's we amazing. Praise the Lord. There are some that say, "What? Another channel?" Well, yes. The more, <laughs> Amen. the better. <laughs> Amen. Because if different networks have different channels uh, and different kinds, but I don't want to get into names. But the more we can take away the tools that Satan wants to Amen. use for our losing our salvation, the more um, rewards we will have in heaven. And you know what? <laughs> this world is not promising anything good. And we should be about our Father's business. True, you cannot travel to Africa, but you can sponsor, you That's can right. help, and God will bless you. And these miracle stories they have shared, Pastor, it is very encouraging. We have lived, you know, many of those testimonies as well with our Spanish yes. uh, as well. Amen. That's Amen. right. Well, our time for this part of the program is uh, just about up, but we want to now provide you the opportunity to write down the contact information for uh, the ministry, Home-Based TV, and how you can support. And immediately after that, we're going to share uh, news from 3ABN, and we will be back in just a moment to conclude this program. Don't go away. Thank you so much. I hope you have uh, wrote everything down. If you didn't, please give us a call or text us, email us, so that we can provide the information to you. We have Pastor Reinhardt, and we would like to ask you if you have a final comment to share with our viewers and listeners. I just want to encourage all our viewers today to follow God's plan for your life. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage you, go and read and study Psalms 25. This has brought a lot of encouragement to my life, a lot of direction, God leading. And in this Psalm, you will see how God will lead you step by step through difficult times, through up times. But God has a plan mm -hmm. and His plan is much more than just existing and living your life. It's to reach people for His kingdom. So I want to really encourage you with that and also thank you for whoever will contribute to this ministry. There's many ministries. We all work together for God's work, right. and, but also for the peoples of Africa. We don't want to forget them. And when I read this psalm, Pastor, God will lead us all the way. Amen. amen. As long as we are faithful and keep holding on to Him. Amen. 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 Uh, really quick. Uh, when we're talking about the coverage, how many millions of people are we talking about reaching? So, um, according to the stats and the surveys being done, it's, it's on, on Intelsat's website, mm -hmm. it's 40 million homes in Africa that has access to the signal. So mm -hmm. you said 40 million homes have million access homes. to the signal. So we will never know how many yes. people are watching, That's who's right. watching. Mm -hmm. That's right. But I know in eternity. Mm -hmm. Amen. I know in eternity God will show us. Amen. Well, if you say 40 million homes and there are maybe four or more in each home, you're talking about a, a, an amount that is amazing. Mm -hmm. So please mm -hmm. uh, support this ministry. Pray for them. Thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next time on 3 ABN Today. God bless you. Nou ja, Reinhard, dit was my een verschrikkelijke, interessante opname hier wat jy daar by 3 IBN gemaakt het. Jy het so een mooi oorsig gegeen oor alles oor homebase, hierso, wat ons bereik 
En so voort, jy het een baie mooi, al het een baie mooi oproep gemaakt mm. vir fondse. Mm. En ek verstaan dat dit werk heel goed aan, maar natuurlijk, hulle betaal, hulle help let mm. vir lichtheid, hulle mm. help nie vir ons onkoste mm. in Afrika nie, die moet ons self daar klaar, mm. maar jy nou, dit was daar my wonderlijke geleentheid hierdie gewees, nie? Die heren het rarig gehelp, nie, want dis in Engels. <laughs> <laughs> dat is niet mijn sterk taal nie. Het was eigenlijk so, Amerikaans, het baie mooi Amerikaans. Of Amerikaans, ja. So, maar die heren het raar raar gehelp, so ons prijs die heren daarvoor. Ja. Ja, nou, en wat was die reaksie als op jullie? Nee, mense, jy het mense dit gekyk, mense is geraak, jy weet, mense begin bijdra. Ek het selfs, baie interessant, as die hele ruk het voor het opgeneem, hulle het toe geedit, uiteindelik is het uitgesaai, toe het uitsaai, ja. toe saai het uitgedierende die, die aan net voor die conferentie van ISI, maar toe sal klomp duisende mense in die hotel, en trui by een speel op die hotel, toe sit allemaal daar aan te vir my en kyk, en oor as waar mense rondloop, groet hulle my, kom na my, toe daar te paar sit Afrikaners gekom, en toe sê hulle, ons gaan een donatie maak, my. ons gaan bijdra, so, um, miskien ken jy, 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 Suid-Afrikaanse mense in Amerika, sê ze blief vir hulle, vir hulle, as hulle 50 dollar miskien kan bijder, of miskien 100 dollar, dit gaan baie ver. Ja. Jy weet, um, so praat in mense wat jy ken miskien in Amerika, maar ek wil weer in die selle sê, as baie van die mense het bijder, moet raap en skraap in Amerika, jy het is nou verlichtheid, as hulle dit kan doen, vir iets wat hulle nie eers baat nie, ja. wat van ons? Ja. Jy weet, so bid en sien hoe jy een deel kan vorm en kan bijdra tot die wonderlijke bediening van hom, wat soveel mense bereik, en net elke maand, 50 of 100 of 150, daai maak die verskil. Ek kan het nie oorbeklem toe nie. Absoluut, ja nee, dit is, dit is wonderlijk, ja nee. Ja. Jong, ek sien ons tykje is eindelijk al klaar, al ons tyd is eindelijk op, kan nie geloof dat tyd so vergaan? Ja, dis hoe dit is. My jyne, maar dit was verskrikkelijk lekker om jou nou iso te heen, weer met jou te praat. Baie goed om hem te sien. Ja, ja, ek hoop dat neem nou nie weer vier en een half jaar vir die week kom nie. <laughs> en nie, ons hoop nie so nie. Maar ons is baie, baie dankbaar vir die rol wat jy daar speel vir, vir Homebuis, en die klompprogramme wat jy kry vir ons hier, so dit is rechtdag waar dit is vernieuwende programme wat yes. elke keer jy aan hulde speel op, op Homebuis, dit is my so verskrikkelijke inspiratie. Jy weet, Ek het by my huis, ek het een TV in die sitkamer, kom by slaap, kom by slaap, kom by slaap, kom by slaap, as hy aan is, dan kan my vrou recht dier die huis loop en permanent daar die boodskap vir hoor, so dit is een geweldig aanspraak. Oom maak seker sy gaan die hemel toe. Ek ook. Amen, amen. Wonderlik. We sê vir jou verskrik. Baie dankie oom. Die heren sê. Die heren jou sê nog pak terug daar. Dankie. En sê vir die mense daar wat sê, ons sê baie baie dankie. Ek sal vir hulle daar. Bijdraag. Ek sal vir hulle dat oordraag. En ja, dit is een geweldige groot ding. Baie dankie. Daarmee, soos baie dankie geachte kijkers laat jy ook saam gekyk het. Baie dankie vir die bijdraag wat jy maak. En ons sikkel maar, financieel maar, met genade en geloof en u bijdraas ons aan die gang. Amen. Mooi blij, tot volgende week.